Hi everyone, it's me Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of Crafting with Friends. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope everybody is having a wonderful week this week. Um, what did everybody do on the weekend? Did you do anything special this past weekend? Um, let's see, what did I do? We went to my mom's house and my parents' house. I mean, my husband's parents and my mom um, did some things for them. Um, I took her shop in my mom, bought her lunch, um, did some mopping for her, did a few things. And then my husband cut some grass and um, stuff like that. <laughs> so we did that on Saturday. Um, on Sunday, it was just, yeah, it was just a regular rest of the weekend. Um, Trying to think what else happened. That's it. We went to Sam's on Friday. This past Friday, my husband was off. And so we went to Sam's and did our, uh, did a Sam's run. And that was quite expensive. <laughs> um, but uh, that's actually the only grocery shopping I did last week. Is we went to Sam's and got a few things. So right now, I'm out of a lot of stuff. And so I've been working on a grocery list. I've got my grocery list over here. I've been working on it. Um... But uh, I, I've gotten to the point where I don't know how to eat anymore <laughs> um, as far as diet-wise. I'm not having any luck. You know, I, went, I rejoined Weight Watchers since my insurance does not cover Ozempic anymore. So I'm not taking the shots anymore. Um, and then, so I thought, well, I need to try to, you know hold on to the weight that I lost already with Ozempic and not gain it back, um, or not, you know, try not to gain it back. And so I thought, well, okay, I'll join Weight Watchers. They had a special and I thought, okay, well, I mean, I've done Weight Watchers in the past. And so I thought, well, I'll just go back to Weight Watchers and I'll try, try doing that. Well, uh, I, I did that and I, I, I did really well as far as my eating plan. I tracked everything and I mean, I was within my limits, no cheating, you know, didn't do any exercising. I'm terrible at that. <laughs> but uh, as far as my eating goes, I did exactly what I was supposed to be doing and for like, I think I've been on that for maybe six weeks and um, I've gained every week. And I know it's, it's, the, it's the going off of the Ozempic because that's what they say. If you get on Ozempic, you'll lose weight uh, as long as you keep taking it. But then when you stop taking it, the weight comes back. Just like so many other diet, like diets. I mean, you know, low carb diet, you lose weight on it, which I didn't, but most people did, would, would. But then as soon as you start eating a different way or eating, you know, stop eating that way, you gain the weight back. Well, same thing with Ozempic, I guess. So I don't know. I'm getting to where now I don't know what to eat. <laughs> I don't know. I've even been thinking about maybe trying like a Mediterranean type way of eating. That's one thing I haven't I haven't tried yet. <laughs> so maybe I'll do that. Anyway, going on. This is not a weight loss nutrition channel. <laughs> I'm just, um, I don't know where that, all that came from. But let's get on to crafting. That's why we're here. <laughs> Grab a project. I hope that you are working on something awesome while I'm sitting here and just chatting with you. Um, let's see. So what have I done, uh, crochet or crafting wise? Well, I actually finished a few diamond painting projects. You know, I've had, I have so many little small projects that I picked like through with, uh, collaborations from the different companies that I work with or I have worked with in the past. And so I, I worked on, uh, let's see, what did I finish? Uh, recently, well, last, last week I showed you, I, I did the April sign that I hang here on this wall that's right there <laughs> and uh, so I'm ready for April the 1st which is this upcoming Monday and I'll be changing my sign out from March to April anyway that's ready I got it all sealed and it's ready to go um I worked on a wreath I think yeah I showed it, I showed it to you last week I think uh, well it was partially done last Wednesday but then on Thursday in my regular video I showed it and it was complete well I got that sealed so that's ready to uh, I will probably hang it back here. I'll take this one down, which is an Easter basket. 
after Sunday. <laughs> and then I will probably, um, I'm thinking about maybe taking this right there. That, those are some family pictures in a frame, but they're so far away, you can't really see them and most of them are not in the shot anyway. So I think I'm gonna move that and I'm gonna put, uh, I'll hang that, that spring wreath diamond painting project that I made. Um, I think I'll hang it there. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And um, anyway, so that's ready. And then, so I thought, well, I know I've got some other little small project, diamond painting projects uh, back in my craft room. So I, I went in there and I looked and I, I did a little keychain that's got my initial on it, but I haven't, I haven't sealed it yet. But I did that. And then also I did a very small wreath. You can't see it. It's hanging in the hallway. Uh, I'll show it tomorrow. I'll take it down. I'll show it tomorrow in my um, regular video for Thursday because uh, I'll, that's part of my finished objects that I have. So I'll, sh I'll take that down and show that one was really quick because there wasn't a whole lot of diamond painting that you did on it. Um, anyway, it turned out nice, it's fast. Um, ooh, I haven't sealed it though. I haven't sealed that and I haven't sealed the little the keychain that I did. Uh, and so, yeah, I've been doing a few diamond painting, little, the little small projects that don't take you long to do. Uh, and I've got more in there. <laughs> uh, in fact, I have one I want to do, and it'll be a, like a Mother's Day type gift um, for my mom. <laughs> and so um, I need to, um, I haven't done it yet. I haven't put it together yet, so I need to do that. So maybe I'll pull that out and I'll work on that this next week. Probably do that. Anyway, uh, so besides diamond painting, as far as crocheting goes, uh, of course, I'm working on the Victoria Ger Victoria's German Shells blanket, and there are several people doing it, and I forgot again as far as getting permission to post pictures. So maybe what I'll do is because I know that um, Misty, she's over on the Facebook page, she's finished hers, I believe she's finished with hers, and she used the actual ombre, the what the, the pattern called for, the Red Heart ombre yarn. She used that on hers, and it turned out really pretty. And so, uh, she's finished, and I'm not, I know there's some other ladies that are working on it. I'm not sure if they're finished or not, but um, um, maybe I'll wait and until I, you know, I'm finished with mine and then I'll collect the finished photos and uh, show them. Oh, somebody else that's working on it is is Valerie, uh, Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. You can see it on her videos. And then um, Nana of, of uh, Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I think that's her name. Not Nana, Rosanna. <laughs> um, she's Nana to her grandkids. Anyway, um, she was is working on it, and so hers has turned out really pretty as well. Okay, so as far as mine, I finished another repeat of the shell section. So let me show you my progress. I think I think I was on the shell part has three shells, three rows of the shells three repeats of the shells for each section. And I think I had done the first one or worked on the first one uh, of this section of three. And I finished that. So see, I think I was right down, down here. And so I've done all of that right there, that much. Anyway, I'll hold it up. Here it is. Let me see, I'll back up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so there you go. So the next section, see I've got Here's the shells, and then there's a shell section there. It's like the virus virus stitch, I think they call that also. Anyway, so the next section is a section of the V-stitches right here, like this section, right, right in here. It's like four, it's like a setup row that's like a granny stitch, I think, I see. Oh, down here, down here, this part. And then you have like four rows of these V, uh, v stitches. Anyway, the, so that's what I'm gonna do next. I'll have to refer back to the video because I can't remember how you do that. You do that setup row, getting started on that. And so I'll have to do that, I'll look back on the video. And then um, I'll have the four rounds of the V stitches and then I will do another of these three, the three scallop fans, shells, or whatever, this section, <laughs> there'll be another one. And then according to the, I think that's where she stopped on her video or her pattern. Of course, if you want to make it larger, all you do is you repeat, you know, you've got this section that's different 
and then the shell section and you just repeat it, you know, as big as you want. But anyway, for sure, I'm gonna do another one of the sections and then and then the another, another of the shell section and then I will see where I'm at there. Um, I am using Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn in the colorway Grape. <laughs> and uh, so far I have used one skein and I'm working on the second skein. In fact, I'm using my wool genie. So let me grab my skein here. I have it hanging back here, see? So I've got quite a bit of it still, you know. So, and then I have two more skeins after that. Um, I, I don't know if, I, in here I was thinking, oh, I may not have enough skeins for it. Well, I think I'm going to have plenty of skeins for it because, um, you know, I mean, I'm using my second skein and I've, I've gotten a lot done on it and I have still have a lot in that second skein. So, um, yeah, if I don't use all four of them, then I'll just use the, uh, the, 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 remaining for something else, you know. Uh, I made a cowl one time in this color and it turned out really pretty. So uh, I can always maybe do something like that if I have, uh, it was no, well, it was an infinity scarf type thing. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, there's my, my uh, progress on it for this week. Uh, it's really fun to make. I'm enjoying it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you get the, kind of get the repeat, repeats down of what you're doing. Of course, you got to count to 10 quite a bit because you have to make sure that these counts, you know, how many stitches make those fan type shapes, uh, which are 10. And so you have to make sure you have enough because if you run, if you don't, then it can mess your ro rounds um, up in, you know, round, following rounds after that, in other words. That makes sense. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, you got to make sure your count is right. Uh, but besides that, yeah, it's I, I like it. It's a fun pattern, and I'll definitely be making this pattern again, I'm sure, in the future. Okay, so there's my progress on my Victoria's German Shells. That is a tutorial. Now, there is a written pattern. You can buy it, a PDF. You can buy the pattern. But I'm just following the tutorial from Jonna Martinez here on YouTube, and I will link it down below in the description box, okay? Um, and so, yeah, I'm just following that, and I'm doing okay with it. Um, she'll, she, the video is just, like, so long, and at the end, she has the rest of the rows, and she'll say, you know, where the repeats are, and you have to go back uh, in the video to find that row if you don't remember um, what that row is. But it's not too bad. I mean, she's got little little spots on the video that you can find that particular row. I know that's a word. There's a word for that, like bookmarks, marks. I don't know. It's not marks actually, but um, anyway, you can find you can find the rows pretty easy. The the tutorials for that particular row round. Anyway. So, what else have I been working on? Well, I've got, tomorrow is my regular Yarn Joy podcast episode video. So, I will have several finished objects uh, to show for tomorrow because I've been finishing up some little projects. Um, yeah, the two diamond painting projects that I just talked about a while ago, I was showing those. Um, the Oh, the elephant, the elephant tutorial from Rhonda Butler here on YouTube. I did a spotlight, a designer spotlight for that a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm almost finished. I think I might be finished with the, with that elephant by tomorrow. I have to put the tail on it. And I think there's a few little touches. I haven't done the tusks yet. Uh, but besides that, um, it is almost finished. I'm looking at it. But I have to save some things so then you'll come back tomorrow and watch tomorrow's video. <laughs> so I'm not going to show it to you. But it's cute. <laughs> oh, look. I'll show you. I'll show you. See? There's a foot. <laughs> Anyway, so that's almost finished. Um, I just made another one of the animal squares. You know those squares I made that had, I had a frog square and then I did a chicken or a rooster square, um, the animal face squares. And well, I just made a, a puppy square and I just finished it. So that will be a finished object for that. So that makes three of them I've made in that series. And then, um, so yeah, that blanket, I'm sure they're probably going to be, have to be some like blank squares besides the animal squares because in order to make it large enough to have enough squares to, for it to be a blanket, I think. But, um, 
anyway, I think maybe the next one I'm going to do is um, maybe the ox. It's cute. I might do that. Uh, and then there's a cat square. I'll probably end up doing that one. And there's a mouse square. And, you know, there's a few other ones, but not many, just a few. Uh, unless I can find some other ones or come up with some faces on my own, I can probably do that. Just use that basic circle in the middle. And, and I'm, I probably can do that. I have to think about that. <laughs> anyway, um, so I did that. I did the puppy square. And uh, I haven't worked on the granny rectangle that I'm using up that uh, banana split ice cream yarn. I haven't worked on that. Maybe, and I might even work on that a little bit this evening. But the main thing I need to do this evening is I have not made my fourth preemie hat for this month. Um, yeah, I forgot about it. So I need to make one really like really quick so it'll be finished. I mean, Monday is April the 1st. So, I mean, I have time, but I really would like to have it finished. I'll show it tomorrow and it'll be finished, you know. Um, my quota will be met for the month. So I need to do that. And what else? I still haven't gotten a Feel Better Friend Doll request. I think they're kind of running out of requests right now for my region, I guess. I guess that's the, what the thing is. I'm on the available list to get another re request, but I haven't gotten one yet. Um, and then I was thinking, well, I finish, I'm finish. i finishing up the elephant. Oh, and then yesterday on the Tootsie Tidbits, I did something a little new that I hadn't done before. It's a, I call it a crochet with me. But actually, it's kind of like a tutorial. It's just that I'm, I'm um, not doing a whole lot of um, editing, you know. Uh, except if I make mistakes, I'll edit some stuff there. But besides that, it's kind of I'm, I'm doing quite a bit of the all the stitches, you know, um, on the video. And so I'm, I'm making a dinosaur. I had posted a picture on the Facebook group showing the pattern. It's a Yarnspirations pattern, free pattern. And I've been wanting to make it for quite a while. I had talked about making it a few years ago. And there was a few of the people that was like, yeah, we want to make it with you. And then I never did it. <laughs> and so um, so I, I thought, well, for Tushy Tidbits, maybe I'll do that. Do a crochet with me and divide it up into parts. So that way the video is not longer than about 30 minutes. And um, so I did that. I filmed it yesterday and I posted part one yesterday for Tucci Tidbits. And I even actually already did part two and that'll be for next week for Tucci Tidbits. Uh, the only concern I have is the fact that some people when they, you know, especially more experienced crocheters, they'll want to go ahead and finish and, you know, go ahead and go ahead of me and finish the project, which that's fine. Um, so it's just the fact that I... If they do, then then when they watch the the next videos, you know they don't they won't want to watch the Tuesday Tidbits video because they're like, well, we already I already made the project, so you know um, we'll see. I think I, I think it's fun. I think it's kind of a fun idea. I hope uh, fun for me. I hope it's fun for you all. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, um, yeah. I, I, I know I have all different levels of crocheters that that follow me. You know, I've got some uh, people like myself that have been crocheting for a long, long time. <laughs> and then I have uh, new, new, newer people, you know, newer crocheters, you know, that, that don't crochet as fast because they're newer and, and they enjoy the, the tutorial, especially for those that have learned visually through videos and not know how to read patterns, you know, very well. And so I know it helps them. So, um, we'll see, you know what I, and then another thing, <laughs> I've got all these ideas running in my head, <laughs> but another thing I was thinking that, well, if I do these videos, I can put those videos and it'll be like, I divided it up into at least maybe four four sections, four videos. So that'd be like a month of Tuesdays, you know, uh, to, to make this dinosaur. Um, and then I thought, well, if I film ahead of time, like I've already filmed next week's Tuesday, t Tuesday Tidbits. So then I thought, because I had, some people had asked me about doing lives. So maybe I'll do, I'll do some lives on, on 
those Tuesdays that I've already got that vid, the, the tutorial made up, and then I'll just come on and chat with people. Uh, but then I chat with you. Well, yeah, I could do that. Maybe I'll do that. Any input is very much welcomed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd appreciate it and see what your thoughts are on all this and, and what you would um, like to see. And if these tutorials, or this crochet with me tutorials, I am going and in, in filming and releasing a left-handed version, which is the original, because that's what I am is left-handed. And then I'm going in and flipping it in the editing and making a right-handed version as well. And then releasing both of them. So that's why you're seeing two of them. If you didn't see in the title, I put left-handed and I put right-handed, <laughs> you know, on which one is which. Okay. Anyway, so that's what's going on with me. Um, sun, this Sunday is Easter. Friday is Good Friday. My husband works. He's working. He was off last Friday, but he's working this Friday. But I know my son, who is a teacher, he's off. Uh, I don't know what they're doing that day. But, uh, oh, my, my other son and his girlfriend are coming over Friday and cooking dinner for us. Isn't that going to be fun? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I just, I was like, yeah, sure, you can come cook, cook us dinner. <laughs> so, uh, um, he, and so I asked him, I said, well, do you want me to have a dessert or just pick up some ice cream or, you know, something? And I know ice cream is not diet friendly. I know. But I was thinking of them. They're both skinny. So, <laughs> anyway, I asked them, you know, do you want me to have a dessert or something or some fruit or, you know, something? And he said, how about apple pie and ice cream? I was like, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to say that. Because <laughs> that, to me, that's like a big dessert, you know. But um, I said, yeah, I'll go. I'll get a Mrs. Smith's and apple pie and cook it. <laughs> anyway, so it's exciting. I'm glad they're coming over on Friday. In fact, yesterday was my, my son's girlfriend's birthday. And so um, I need to uh, pick. I need to pick up part. I've done part of her gift for her birthday. I want to pick up which was that that dog that I crocheted. Uh, and um, my 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 son. I said I told him it's finished. You want to come get it because he actually requested me to crochet it for her. And so I told him it was finished. And he says no. He says I'll let you give it to her. And I was like oh okay. Well I'll give it to her as a gift from me, but then I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to pick up something to add to it, you know, a gift card or something, you know, and so, um, I will give that to her on a Friday because, uh, she, um, she said she had a couple of items for me or for us that she picked up when she went with her family on her trip and I babies, a dog set puzzles her dog for her. And so, uh, I'll let y'all know what it is or I'll show, I'll show the gifts to you in the next crafting with friends probably next week i'll try to remember to do that anyway so that's what's happening friday they're coming over and cooking <laughs> and then saturday i'm going to the baby shower oh the baby shower where i'm going to give the peter rabbit in the book to go with it yeah so i'm going to do that on saturday this upcoming saturday and so i'll let you know how that goes uh, I thought about p m uh, picking up something to go along with the peter rabbit in the book maybe uh, I'm not sure. Maybe some, I thought about maybe like picking up some baby wipes or something, but I might, um, or I might pick, you know, get like some washcloths or something like that. I don't know. It's just a thought to add something to the Peter Rabbit. We'll see. Um, and then that's Saturday. And then Sunday's Easter. And then Sunday, uh, we're going to my son and daughter-in-law's house, I think. Or they're coming over here. I don't know. We're getting together for Easter. And so, I get to see the grandbaby. And, oh, I've got to make sure I've got his Easter basket. I've been putting together a little Easter basket for him. And um, so, yeah, that'll, that'll be fun. Um, yeah. I, I had the Easter basket pretty much already put together and waiting, you know, so I'll give him that. So that's fun. Last year was the first time I ever did that as far as put, making an Easter basket with goodies and things in it um, for a grandbaby, you know. <laughs> and so this is the second time, second year to get to do that. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll have that ready for to give to him on Sunday. And 
So yeah, and then it'll be a starting of the next week. So it'll be starting of another month, April. April 1st is on Monday. Uh, and so that means next week is the, the dinosaur crochet along with Lo uh, Loopy Lamb. It's, it's starting next week. So I'm excited about starting that project too. I'll have to pick out, see what cut. I, I'll probably make it green, I guess. I don't know. I'll have to pick out the color for it. Okay, I'm going to go because I'm just um, kind of chattering away, which is what crafting with friends is for, right? <laughs> so tell me in the description box, what do you think about my Tuesday tidbits? Uh, I'll link part one down below in the description in the description, okay, um, box below. And then tell me about what you think about that and then, and then maybe doing some lives. Um, it's easier for me to do it during the day when nobody's here instead of doing it in the evening. So I know that a lot, a lot of people work or everybody's in different time zones and stuff, but it's, for me, it's easier to do it like at this time, you know, I mean, it's two, it's almost three o'clock. So yeah, like mid morning or, or right after the afternoon. I don't know. Maybe if I, if I get in the habit of doing lives and everybody enjoys it, maybe I'll try to do it, you know, ever so often do it, doing it on the weekend, maybe. I don't know. What do y'all think about that? Would that be fun? I think that would be fun to do, maybe. We'll see <laughs> what everybody thinks. I'll read the comments. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Everybody have a wonderful Wednesday, the rest of your Wednesday, if you're watching it Wednesday. Come back tomorrow. We'll have a vid uh, visit for the regular Yarn Joy podcast episode. It's going to be episode 350. Can you believe it? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah. I kind of funny putting those those big old numbers on there, but I thought in the title if I do that and put the episode number that way when people are watching if 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 people go back and watch videos way in the past, they can see those numbers and know kind of what order they're in. That's the reason I put the numbers on there. Sometimes I think I shouldn't put numbers on there anymore, but but I just thought that that would help people. Yeah. I don't know. What do y'all think about that? <laughs> that idea. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go. Everybody have a wonderful afternoon, evening, and uh, come back tomorrow. And we will see you in the next video for the, yeah. And I'll show you my other projects and my finished objects. Yay. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>